Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about VV.NET debugging feature. So this is the earlier code that we have done in the previous video. Let's go back to the code window. In this code window, let's understand what are the debugging features available. Now for this, the very first thing what I'm going to do is going to remove a method and deform it. So if you see the method is actually dot text, I'm going to remove the T. And here also I'm going to remove the, for example, remove the bracket. So what happens by default, if your code is wrong, vv.net is going to give this red line that you see on my screen. Even here, if you see there is a red line. However, there is a feature. What you do, go to this debug option. Click on window and here you have an option called output panel. Simply click on this output panel. Now what do you do? Let me start running this. The moment you do this, it tells you there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last successful build? That means it might go back to the previous version if you click on yes. So be careful. So here I don't want to go to the previous version of my code. Rather, I'm going to click on no and I'm going to fix it. The moment you do so, it's going to tell you the number of errors your code has. For example, here if you see, it indicates you there is an error TEX is not a member of text box. So if you click on this one, for example, you can see my mouse pointer could be here. I go to the output panel and let me run it again. No. And the moment I'm going to click on this, it is going to, if you double click, it will automatically bring your mouse cursor to this one, wherever the error is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fix the first one. Fine. Now let's debug this once again. No. And here there's still one more error. If you double click on this, it's going to take you to this one. So here also there's a problem. I'm going to close the problem. So I'll, I'm going to solve the problem. So now if you are going to run, your code is going to run as expected. So this is the first feature. By the way, the moment you get a red mark, right, that indicates you because there is a problem. So on the go, on the fly, you know, you can go ahead and continue to correct your code as you are coding it. If you find a red mark, that means there's an indicator, something is wrong with the code. This is one feature. There's another feature called debugging. Okay, for example, I would like to apply a breakpoint. So what is that means? Okay, so here I have designed a form. People are going to enter the values. Before they hit on submit, all these values should be shown. Now, is it really working or it doesn't work? I need to debug it. For this, let me go back to the code window. And in the code window, let's apply some breakpoints. So how do you apply breakpoints? Do you see on the left hand side, there's a small gray icon, uh, gray bar. And on this one, all you have to do is simply click once. The moment you click, there's a breakpoint. So what does it do? What is the breakpoint meaning? Let's understand. I'm going to, you will see two different buttons. One, if you click your keep your mouse it might say without debugging run without debugging this is the first option and there's a second option which will say simply run it without right this is without debugging this is with debugging feature so you need to click on the very first run button i'm going to click now so what happened when the code would run the code is going to load the form so the form is open here now it is asking me to enter the first name let me enter first name as John okay and uh, I would give the last name as William and let me type some email ID okay I'm just typing some fake email ID and let me select some game let's say football is interested in let's say I've typed the football twice let me select and remove it so I've done certain actions on the application. Now, 
if you see where did i apply the breakpoint anytime you are clicking on the submit button that time it is not going to execute and show the message it is going to you can literally understand how the values are coming i am going to hit on submit now i am going to hit on submit now the moment i hit on submit you see here your execution has paused generally if you don't apply a breakpoint it will never pause it will continue and show you the output but here if you see it has paused at the place where i have applied a breakpoint now what should i do what is the use of this now look at it there is another debugging panel called local you may not find this if you do not see it what you do go to debug and click on window and here you would find a option for local do you see so if you click on this this window would appear for you imagining you have this window on your screen now if i'm if i'm going to execute next so here it has paused so how do i execute now for this here there are three buttons small buttons do you see and if you keep your mouse on top of them the first one would say step into step into and the second one would say step over and the third one will say step out these are the three buttons we have step into step over step out we will slowly understand all this feature as we move forward in this series however let's understand what this do the very first button step into i am going to click on this button the very first button okay the moment i clicked what happened the execution arrow from here it directly jumped here because this declaration de declaration of the variables is done and then it directly came here so what is happening here it is saying text box first name dot text what does that mean in your form in your form the very first text box that you have whatever values that you have entered here that value i am going to place it in this variable now i'm going to step into step into means one step at a time it is going to enter into that and then execute one step at a time so you can see it has paused again here now let me hit enter and in the local panel if you see the first name value is nothing now nothing 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 let me hit on step into once again so what happened the very the 11th line the 11th code has been run because it has run you remember in the form we have entered the value john now here if you see the first name now has the value called john clear now where exactly it is now in the 12th line of the code string last name is equals to now it is not executing it has paused it stopped there the moment i am going to hit on step into that means one line at a time i am debugging i am checking whether the values are coming properly or not let me hit once again now what happened the 12th line got executed in similar way the last name variable string last name now has a value called william getting it similar way let me execute once again email now email got executed now the email value has come so where this values are coming from the form that we have entered in the user interface in the form we have entered the values initially those values are coming when so it is showing you behind the scene how one one line of code is getting executed and if there is any problem you can rectify it here let's say next next thing that's going to execute for example i don't need john williams here okay the email is slightly wrong for example i would like to edit this value you can do edit of the values on the go for example william there is a the, he has a number here i forgot to enter so i am entering the value here 1 2 3 i am changing the value here in the local panel now once i have changed let me hit on step into so where for which value i have changed the email value have changed let's hit next so this code got executed so the string selected game is football right we have selected football now i am going to hit on step it to now the message box is going to execute look at this now the message box is going to execute and one more thing you will also find if you keep your mouse pointer in this variables you would also see their new value so the value we have changed john dot william 123 even that is appearing 
let me hit on step into once again so now is the is when the message box has actually executed generally in this form the moment you hit on submit it executes and if you see hello john william your email id is john william 123 it is not getting this value which doesn't have 123 because i have changed the value in the local panel even that is appearing in the message box so on the fly on the go while the code is running you also have the option to change the values of the variable at the right time now i'm going to click on okay so what happened now it is going to execute the line number 22 so what is the meaning of this line it is going to clear the values that is there in the text box right so whatever values you have entered previously it is going to clear them cleared cleared and now this entire thing is complete okay now let's hit on step into next so now what happened here already you have entered a value called football so it is asking you to probably let me select basketball now i have entered so what is the value that i have selected now basketball let me step into if you see the basketball value has come when you highlight okay so similar way what exactly is happening for each variable it tells you what is the value it has got let me remove basket let's say football so now if i execute this line so this arrow means it is about to execute when you hit step in two it got executed now the line number 34 is going to execute executed now what was the value of this right it has been removed right dot remove so it has been removed so here in the locals panel also you can follow the values okay done and after that i'm going to stop it so what this debugging is doing you can exactly see how the entire code is running let's say you have written a complex code and you like to see how the, the values are passing properly or not is the things are happening properly or not so you can exactly examine each point at a time that is the helpful thing when you really write a complex code this debugging features helps you to identify the problems in the logic problems in the code it helps a lot while you progress in the programming language right any programming language would have a debug option and this is in the vv.net so i hope you have got a clarity of the debug options there are actually many things around the debug as we proceed further we would be covering as we need we are going to cover those options whenever the situation comes i am going to show you all other different options that will be useful to learn uh, in terms of the debugging feature i am going to show you in my upcoming videos as necessary so let's move forward and move on to the next topic excellent uh, job in completing this video please type a comment that you have completed this in the comment section of this video and let's move on to the next topic